a crime has been committed. A crime against doggy kind. I, canine detective Sherlock Bones, and my loyal assistant Dr. Wolfson are on the case. In this video, we're going to be investigating 11 terrible crimes committed by otherwise loving dog owners against their beloved pets. Watch till the end for the most atrocious one that will shock you to your furry core. Number 1. The Case of the Confined Canine In the first case, a dog has been trapped. For some reason, her human has decided to wrap his arms around her and squeeze, preventing her from moving and making her increasingly claustrophobic. What could be the reason? Elementary, my dear Woofson, humans actually call this form of imprisonment hugging, and they see it as a form of affection. You can try licking yourself free, but this can backfire and make the human hug you even tighter. A tip from our experience, wait it out like a gentleman, and it will be over in no time. Number 2. The Mystery of the Missing Ball Now for a more complex mystery. This dog was playing a normal, innocent game of fetch, but when his human threw the ball, it vanished into thin air. No matter how he searched for it, he couldn't see it or pick up so much of a whiff of its scent. Is it witchcraft or an alien interference? No, Woofson. The solution to this particular case lies in the hand of the villainous human. When she made as if to throw the ball, she instead kept it in her hand. The poor dog ran in the direction that he thought the ball would be flying in, but the ball was never flying at all. You know, Wofson, sometimes these criminals still manage to shock me. Number 3. The Mystery of the Disappearing Dot You hear about people seeing mysterious lights in the sky, but what about one mysterious dot on the ground? This small red dot appears from nowhere and disappears just as easily. It's strange. Quick and very tempting, but no woofson. Don't try to catch it. This light is actually caused by a laser pointer. Although a toy beloved of cats, for us dogs, it can cause something called laser pointer syndrome, which is a form of OCD. Sufferers become obsessed with chasing lights and shadows to the severe detriment of their mental health. If your human happens to be ignorant of it, you set them straight. Number 4. The Mystery of the Big Bangs Speaking of mysterious lights in the sky, there are some now, and mysterious noises, very loud mysterious noises. Run Woofson, hide under that bench. Right, we're safe now. And I think I recognize this phenomenon. It's not alien invaders or some sort of war zone after all. It's fireworks. Humans let off these criminally horrid loud things when they have celebrations. For some reason, presumably because their hearing is four times weaker than ours, they enjoy it. But for dogs like us, and other pets, it's a nightmare. Let's get inside. That's where all dogs should be when there are fireworks about. Number 5. The Case of the Odd Odor We all love smells. I myself am partial to rolling in a bit of musty mud, as is Woofson. But not all smells are so pleasant. Sometimes, a human will take it into their head to rub their dog with some foul-smelling substance that will leave their fur smelling dreadful for hours afterwards. The reason for this? Unbelievably, they think it smells good. Human noses are not only notoriously bad at picking up even the most obvious scents, but when they can produce a good, strong smell of their own, they try and cover it up with disgusting products that they call shampoo and soap they'd be much better off sticking to officially approved, unscented products. Number 6. The Mystery of the Strange Stance Although humans are normally delightful, particularly the ones with food in their pockets, sometimes they do strange things. This human, despite showing no previous signs of aggression, has suddenly gone into an obviously predatory stance. She's crouched down, like she's about to spring up and go for your jugular. She's staring directly at you, like she's judging the distance she'd need to jump, and she's reaching out a hand to throttle you. Don't worry, Woofson. The human is not actually being threatening here. Humans crouch down because they believe that making themselves closer to our height will make them less threatening, even though to us it looks like they're preparing to attack. In reality, this human simply wants to pet you. Number 7. The Mystery of the AWOL Owner now for a missing person case. This dog's human left for work at the usual time this morning, but it's now well past the expected time for him to come back. Where is he? 
Well, Wolfson, it's my professional opinion as a dog and as a detective that he's probably dead or lost or injured in some accident and begging for his dog to come and rescue him. Or else he decided he doesn't love his dog anymore and has abandoned her forever. Whatever happened, a human not coming home at the time they usually come home definitely means that they're gone forever and that their dog will now have to live alone for the rest of their... Oh wait, false alarm. He just walked in the door. He was just running late. Number 8. The Case of the Worst Walkies This is usually the best time in a dog's day, but for this poor puppy, it's turning into a nightmare. Her human isn't letting her go off the path or sniff at anything. Every time she tries to stop and investigate an interesting smell, her human pulls on the leash and ushers her away. Not only that, but the walk seems to be taking much less time than usual and her human seems… upset? Frustrated? It's a puzzling case, Wolfson, but all these different oddities are in fact connected. You see, the human has something she wants to do after this that she considers to be more important than her dog's walk. Because of this, horrifically enough, she has chosen to rush her poor pup's daily constitutional due to sheer ignorance about how upsetting this can be for a dog. A crime if I've ever seen one. Number 9. The Case of the Fashion Victim This is a strange one, Wolfson. This poor dog was minding his own business when suddenly he found himself encased in… fabric? Some strange object was balanced on his head while something else was tied around his neck in such a way that the excess cloth draped over his back. Finally, the sense of the ground under his feet was suddenly gone. Not because he had been picked up, you understand, but because his feet had been entombed in strange little coverings that made it impossible to feel anything through his paw pads. A truly horrible fate, but unfortunately one that befalls many dogs, particularly around Halloween and Christmas for some reason. We may never know why humans choose to inflict such a terrible fate upon their poor pooches, but fortunately this pup seems to have found a way out of it. That's right, lad. Rip them off. Number 10. The Mystery of the Unwelcome Invader Hark, Wolfson, there's an intruder in our home. Some horrific break-in must have happened, and now this strange dog is here to try and take over our territory, harm our owners, and probably make off with the silverware. Bark, Wolfson, we must see her off. Oh, never mind. The humans seem to have been expecting her. I suppose she lives here now. This may be a solution to our mystery, but it's not a very satisfactory one. Normally, a new dog would be formally introduced outside to give us time to get to know her, and steps would be taken to ensure that we weren't caught off guard by her presence in our home and had a place to retreat to if needed. But well, Wolfson, I guess good manners aren't so popular anymore. Number 11. The Case of the Crate-Hating Canine Now. We don't normally take human clients, but in this case, we'll make an exception. You say that your dog has started showing a marked dislike for his crate? That although previously he had no problem going in there to sleep or to sit while company came over, now he whines and acts upset whenever he's told to go in there? Hmm. Do you ever send him to his crate when you're mad at him? You did? Because he was barking and distracting you when you were trying to clean the house? Well, there's your answer. We dogs are very good at picking up human emotions and very good at forming mental connections. Your dog knew that you were angry at him when you sent him to the crate that one time, and so now he assumes that he's being punished every time he gets sent there. Mystery solved. We accept payment in dog treats. Come on, Wolfson, let's investigate this fascinating video on imprinting of dogs upon humans. Or is it the other way around? and what that might mean in a dog and owner relationship.